Do you know what is my favorite restaurant in the whole wide world? McDonald's. It's amazing. The price is cheap, the service is fast, and of course, the food is delicious. McDonald's is probably the most successful fast food restaurant in the world, and that's despite being represented by that awful, horrifying, creepy-ass clown mascot. Hiya, rubber! Hey, Ronald. Why, I myself used to work for McDonald's. That was back in my much younger days. No, not that young. I worked there in my days as a spotty-faced teenage whippersnapper before more pressing and terrifying matters took my focus. Here you go, sir. I met so many wonderfully interesting customers in my time at McDonald's. Fascinating people such as... The hopeful parent who has taken their kids out for a nice weekend treat in the hope that maybe, just maybe, they would be quiet for five minutes. There is also the toy collector who came not for the food, but for the cool action figure that comes with the happy meal. Can I play with the toy now, Dad? No, this is mine. Get your own. Of course, most people do come here for the actual food, even if they have not yet decided what to order, despite being in line for several damn minutes. Um, I, I will have a, um, I, I will take a, ah, uh, hmm. Maybe, maybe I will try a... Which can be incredibly frustrating, especially when combined with the type of person who orders something that isn't even on the freaking menu. Oh, I know what I would like. Yes, sir. I will have a Whopper, please. I'm afraid those are in Burger King, sir. Oh, really? Well, then in that case, maybe instead I will have a... Um... Sometimes people do know what they want to order, but then forget that they have actually ordered it. Order number four? Uh, order number four? I said, order number four, madam. Oh, wait, I'm number four. Ugh. And some forget to place part of their order and wait until the very end to tell you what it is. Oh, and I forgot to mention, can I also have a chocolate milkshake, two large fries, and some packets of ketchup, please? Thanks. I hate this job. For everyone who doesn't know what they want, there are dozens of customers who know exactly what they want, even if their order is extremely inconvenient, like the breakfast demander. I want my breakfast now. I'm sorry, sir. We stopped serving breakfast at 11 a.m. over six hours ago, but I only got up at noon. And the diner. I will have two quarter pounders with extra cheese, extra mayo, three large fries, 27 McNuggets, and some ice cream. Oh, and a Diet Coke. I'm on a diet. And, ugh, the customizer. I would like a plain quarter pounder with cheese, but without the cheese. Also, can I have chicken instead of the beef? So, you would like a chicken burger then? No, let me start again. I want a plain quarter pounder with cheese, and of course, there is the incessant checker. A customer who must check every single item of their order just in case you made a mistake. Aha! I knew it! This burger doesn't have a pickle on it! But there is a pickle right there. Oh, I see. Thank you. Will there be anything else, sir? No, no. That will be all. For now. Next customer, please. Oh, I nearly forgot. I would also like three large fries, a Diet Coke, and a chocolate milkshake. I didn't always work behind the counter. Sometimes they let me work at the drive-thru, where I would meet various other zany characters, such as the old yeller. For the last time, I said, I want a... Sir, please come closer. You are shouting at the menu. Sorry about that. Anyways, I will have a big whopper, please. Oh, God. There is also the mumbler. I am sorry, sir, but I still can't hear you. Can you come up to the main window, please? I said... Still, I prefer those guys to the ones who demand to use the drive through section, despite not having an actual car. I'm sorry, but those are the rules, fellas. I cannot serve you at the drive through unless you are driving a car. What? This is an outrage! We demand to speak to the manager, don't we, fellas? Yeah! I very much enjoyed my time working at McDonald's. I learned so much about life and people. It really was a great experience. Well, most of the time. As long as you get to go home before the late night drunk people stagger in. 
Oh no, they're coming this way. Run for your lives, everyone! <laughs> <laughs>